seem like you're looking for something. Is it this? You're gonna wish you had three hands. <laughs> I'm looking for recall. Oh no! Not me! I'm not gonna bend over and take this! Boy, they really hit us where it hurts this time, huh? <laughs> My brothers, look and bask in the glory of what all men remember about the original Total Recall. A lovely, naked mutant with three perfectly placed knockers. Very tasteful, no bush. Now she's been replaced by a fully clothed Agent Hucker. What the fuck happened to this world, gentlemen? What happened? I mean, doesn't the Constitution guarantee us the right to life, nudity, and the pursuit of happiness? Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. Code monkey, have boring meeting with boring manager Rob. Much rather wake up, eat a coffee cake, take bath, take nap. This job fulfilling in creative way, such a load of crap. Code monkey thinks someday he have everything, even pretty girl like you. Code monkey just waiting for now. Code monkey says someday, somehow. Code monkey like Fritos. Code monkey like Tao and Mountain Dew. Code monkey, very simple man. Big warm fuzzy secret heart. Code monkey like you. Welcome back to Full Master Reviews, I'm Adam J. You know, I remember all the badass action movies I grew up on, and one that clearly sticks out in my mind is Total Recall. Now, I gotta admit, although I grew up on it, I wasn't much of a fan of this when I was younger. With the exceptions of Arnold, the cool looking mutants, and the action, nothing really stuck out to me as a kid. However, as an adult, I started to understand more of the story. I got more of the humor, and I started to appreciate it a lot more. I can clearly see why it's considered a classic, why so many people love it, and I can certainly concede that it is one of the most inventive and interesting sci-fi films ever made. The film, for lack of better terms, was a mindfuck. A sort of early inception, if you will. It told the story of Douglas Quaid, who wants more out of life, and fed up with his normal everyday existence, goes to Recall, a company that can implant a fake memory into his brain for a sort of vacation. But as soon as he's plugged into the chair at Recall, something goes wrong that turns Quaid's world upside down. He discovers that his life was a lie, it was all an implanted memory that he thought he had lived, and he is soon thrown into a battle with Mars's Chancellor Cohagen and a group of mutant rebels. But here's the real mindfuck of the film that is never answered for you. Is this all real, or is Quaid still strapped to the chair at Recall? That is the real mystery behind the film. You never knew if Quaid was awake or dreaming. It's also noteworthy that it was adapted from the short story, We Can Remember It For You Wholesale, by Philip K. Dick. Although, I gotta admit, the movie is a lot more interesting. As much as I love Philip K. Dick, I consider We Can Remember It For You Wholesale kind of B-list in comparison to most of his other stories. It's a rare case when the movie is actually better than the source. Now, of course, Hollywood has done a remake of Total Recall. And I can easily say, this is not Recall. It's semi-Recall. It's quasi-Recall. It's... <sighs> junior Recall. It's the Diet Coke of Recall. That's one calorie, not even enough. However... <laughs> hear me out! Just hear me out, will you? Come on! However, as much as I didn't like this film as a remake, I still found myself enjoying it. And at first, I couldn't figure out why. Then I thought back to some other remakes and it hit me. I have the same issue with this movie that I do with the remake of Halloween. Liking it is a matter of perspective. As a remake, it's pitiful. The story isn't as good, most of the characters aren't as complex, there's no Mars, none of the mind games, and sadly, no mutants. Which is weird because we clearly saw a chick with three knockers. I gotta tell you, that's either a plot hole, a blessing, or some really badass plastic surgery. Yeah, as a remake, case in point, there wasn't much memorable about this. But as a standalone action film, the acting is good. Well, for the most part, anyway. The CG is breathtaking, and the action is terrifically shot. People used to ask me why I didn't have a rating system back in the day. Well, folks, it's because of movies like this. Because in the case of Total Recall, the remake, 
I am torn. I really don't know what rating to give this in the end because on one hand I have a pitiful pointless remake, on the other hand I have a highly enjoyable action film. So yeah, there it is. Now again, I gotta be fair, this does follow some of the original film story, not all of it obviously, but the first 30 minutes is pretty much note for note and shot for shot like the original. Douglas Quaid, played this time by Colin Farrell, a very underrated actor, is bored with his everyday routine and goes to recall. Now, it started to piss me off around here because they had the woman with the three knockers and, and didn't show us anything. Uh, okay, I know that I'm starting to sound kind of immature about this, and I am very sorry, but as a fan of the original Total Recall, I demand me some mutant hooters. God, I wish. But anyway, it pretty much goes down the way the original did. Quaid goes to recall, shit goes down, he kills some guys, and goes home to where his wife played this time by Kate Beckinsale, tries to kill him. Then everything just seems to fall flat and get generic story-wise. We get some things that resemble the original, but nothing that's anywhere near as memorable. It still has Doug Quaid trying to figure out the truth about the strange U-turn his life has suddenly taken, but because there is no Mars, mutants, or mystery, the very heart of the original film is lost. That's really my biggest problem, is that instead of taking the established material and building a bigger, better story around it, screenwriter Kurt Wimmer just ixnade everything memorable in favor of making a basic, brainless action film. Wow! It's almost as if Kurt Wimmer doesn't know how to write. Fuck you and fuck you. <laughs> oh yes. I went there. The script is ultimately the biggest downfall of this entire film. Instead of incredibly badass looking mutants, we just have a select few rebel humans led by a severely underused Bill Nye and the bland Jessica Biel who I swear could double as a wood stump. She is atrocious in this movie and doesn't even hold a candle to Rachel Ticketon's performance in the original. Instead of Mars, we just get a futuristic Earth. Yay! How original! And instead of the mind games that were present in the original film, we just get paint-by-numbers dilemmas. There's one scene thrown into this film out of fucking nowhere where Quaid is made to ponder whether he's awake or still in the chair at recall, but that only lasts a minute and it's never brought up again. I honestly would have had more respect for this remake if they, instead of actually remaking the story from the original film, went back and did a straight, faithful adaptation of Philip K. Dick's story. In fact, Jessica Biel told sources months ago that that was what this film was going to be. Gee, that's weird. I guess after I died, women started lying, huh? <laughs> well, I tell you, if they ever start using sex to give what they want, I'm out of here. <laughs> this has less to do with the original story than the first Total Recall film did. I mean, if they had done that, I still don't think it would have topped the original, but it would be far more interesting than what they did here, and I would have liked it more for being true to the source material. As far as the acting goes in the film, it's quite good, with the exception of Jessica Biel, who always acts like she's doing a fucking soap opera. But I digress. Colin Farrell is fine in this movie. He's fine for this role. There, honestly, I just see so many reviews that are condemning him and blaming him for the problems with this movie. He was not the problem with this movie. Not by any stretch. He's no Schwarzenegger, but he did a damn good job, and he was not the problem whatsoever. Kate Beckinsale is by far the best thing in this movie. She's cold, evil, and ruthlessly badass. She steals every scene she's in, and to be honest, I liked her better than Sharon Stone. I'll be dead honest about that. You might want to give your little girlfriend a kiss goodbye. As long as she doesn't mind where those lips have been. Oh. What, what the hell are you doing? Sweetheart, be reasonable. After all, we're married. Consider that a divorce. As I said before, yeah, Bill Nye is in this, but he does nothing in this movie. I mean, it really makes me wonder why 
Bill Nye was even in this. I mean, because he's such a big actor now. I mean, anyone could have played this role. This character, Matthias, did nothing. Oh, and by the way, yeah, we have uh, Matthias as the leader of the Resistance now. There's no Quato. Because there's no mutants. Yeah, wonderful. I liked Brian Cranston as Cohagen, but again, he did almost nothing. He's barely in the movie, and when he is, the character never really comes off as interesting until the climax at the end. The CGI in this film was masterful. It didn't look fake, it didn't look choppy, it was just beautiful to look at. However, I do have to say I prefer the practical effects in the original film, but that's just me. And probably most of you. But in this action movie, it's the action and fight scenes that really steal the show. From the elevator scene to the final climactic battle at the end, the action in this movie just fucking rocks and is beautifully shot by director Len Wiseman. Wiseman is a good director. Well, for the most part, anyway. The problem is he just didn't have a good script to work with. While he was able to salvage a good action film, the script refused to let him salvage a decent remake. To be fair to Wiseman, he did his job, to the best of his abilities. Overall, I'm just torn with Total Recall. I used to not have ratings for exactly this reason, so I'm just gonna have to give it two separate ratings. As a remake, this movie is getting two stars out of me, only because a few scenes recreated from the original are entertaining, but that's about it. As a standalone action flick, yeah, it's mindless violence, but it's enjoyably fun and action-packed mindless violence. So, as just an action movie, I'm awarding it three and a half stars. Not good, but entertaining. No more, no less. He's lying! Shoot her! This is not a delusion! Tell it, damn it! Shoot her! How did he get activated? I want him alive. Tell me what's going on. I'm just trying to recover what's in your head. We're gonna need your seatbelt on! Taj off me, you damn dirty ape!